Hello everyone and welcome back to Allbound. Okay, so we're still checking out the demo and in episode two, what my main goal is to unlock the automation free. So we'll have access to lots of machines that, that we can start using to start automating our process. But we've got a little bit of a long road ahead of us. We need 25 iron cogs, 25 iron plates and 5,000 gold coin. So if we head over to the bus here, he can craft the iron plates and the iron cogs for us but they are going to require quite a few of the iron ingots and also gold coins as well so if we look here for the iron plates we need two ingots a plate and we need 45 coins each so we need quite a few uh, 25 of each to be precise so let's just do a little bit of quick maths so we're going to need 50 ingots for that and we're going to need 1125 gold coins yeah so we're going to need another 1000 gold coins we should have enough gold coins to do it all and to be honest we need about 100 ingots as well so hopefully we should have enough in storage i did smelt quite a few of them and i think i've also got some more iron ore as well so we'll pop that in and get that smelting and then we're going to head over to our storage chest and see what we have oh no we've got 28 on us so once that 70 is all done and is finished processing we should be good to go um, but let's just grab the 2250 we need so we'll grab these two and then we've got some extra left over so that should be plenty for that so once our iron has finished melted we can get the 25 of those done and then all we need then is another 5000 gold coins so somewhere along the line we need to make some money so let's see what kind of quest we can get rid of so we can earn ourselves some quick extra cash so we could go and grab some coal ore and some iron ore to finish this quest here which will give us 250 i did manage to find an iron or rock and i did place an automatic miner on that so we should have uh, quite a few iron ore so we can go ahead and grab that so apart from that i think that's pretty much it within the mining that we can do pretty easily and what have we got here so we could do another smelter that will give us 500 and we should have them ingots as well so we can complete that for another 500 that should be nice and easy and then we need iron tools which is also going to cost quite a bit of money and a fair bit of iron so that's probably a little way off and then let's see what we've got in combat and what we have coin wise we can build 10 turrets possibly let's see what we need for the turrets so go over to defense yeah we need quite a few of the iron cogs for that one as well okay so let's head on over we'll go and grab our ore and our coal from our automatic miners which are just down here so that should be nice and easy to get hold of i'm just going to carefully scale down the ladder which can be a little bit dodgy at times but i think we've pretty much got it sussed out i do struggle every time i try and climb back up the ladder i can't seem to get over the top so expect me to go all the way to the top and then apparently yeah, jump off and fall to near enough my death which is which is always fun but we're going to go ahead and grab this coal here um so it does look like our ore drills have durability as well which is pretty interesting but we'll turn that back on and we'll get that going as well and then we're just going to head over here and we have our iron just here now the footsteps are always tripping me up i always think we're getting chased by something but we'll go ahead and pop that drill back on and then we can head back and we should have enough iron and also the yeah we've got enough iron and we've got enough coal so that's good we're doing good in that retrospect so we'll just head back and hopefully some of our iron would have smelted by now which will give us a little bit of more of the iron ingots so this is what i mean oh okay i managed to do that perfectly that time so i'm not sure what i was playing around with last time but i kept getting to the top of the ladder and just kept falling off which was kind of funny to start with but yeah so we'll just grab these earth shards on our way through we can sell them for a bit of easy money I'm not really sure what to do with the earth shards at the moment apart from sell them so i'm sure we'll come across what we can do with those I'm gonna get rid of this boar and take that carcass we are pretty well stocked up on food so i'm not too worried at the moment but we'll just get that cooking just in the meantime so let's see yeah we've got quite a few of the iron ingots at the moment but we'll leave that going for now where was it we needed this one here so we can complete that so that's good and then we could also build another smelter we should have enough resources for that so we might as well go ahead and build one of those 50 stone 10 
coal ore. So what have we got? We've got 23 stone and we've got plenty of coal ore. So that is good. Okay, let's go ahead and let's grab some stone. There should be plenty of stone around here that we can just quickly grab. And we need 50. So yeah, that shouldn't take too long at all. We should be able to grab that pretty quick. We'll just run around here for a load of stone. I always keep thinking I'm getting chased by these footsteps. I mean, they are my own footsteps, but I keep thinking I've got a boar chasing me or just something like that. It's um, really odd and bizarre. So I think we've got some more coal here. We've depleted that one. Okay, let's just grab these bits of stone as we run back. At least then we've got a bit extra. And there we go. Okay, so we can go ahead now and we can get to another smelter built. And we'll pop this one over here, I guess. It's going to be in the way a little bit there, isn't it? I'm aware. Can we put this one so it's not too much in the way? I suppose we can pop it there. That'll do for now doesn't look pretty but it will do back oh, yeah, here yeah. and we can complete this now so that's an extra 500 gold coins and then yeah we just need 50 we can select another 500 from that so that is pretty good i think if we take those and we pop the iron ore back in yeah because i think we're gonna need well over what we have there let's um let's split that stack actually we'll put 50 in that should do for now let's go ahead we'll just get rid of that Four, free up some inventory space so we can complete that we've got another 500 there so let's just count up how much money we have at the moment so we've got one two three four and five here and a little bit extra so we've got five thousand five hundred so we are a couple of thousand short for what we need so let's go ahead and see what else we can do relatively quickly so we need iron tools and we do get a thousand gold coins for that one i'm not entirely sure we are able to do that relatively easily let's have a look at the black iron tools there we go so yeah that costs 50 per oh no ingredients is iron ingot times two and outputs is iron tools and 50 that's very odd that doesn't really makes sense let's go ahead and do iron plates and then what we want to do is we want so 50 because we need 25 so if we go ahead and do yeah we'll go ahead and do 50 of those so we've got 10 them let's split this half stack and then we can kind of just work out 50 from okay so we've got 50 auto cost requirements one gold coin is that right output nothing okay so what happens if we put a whole thousand in that will give us one out of a hundred oh two three oh so we can just put whatever in and it will automatically craft the iron plates and then we can take out however many we want um, but obviously we don't really want it to overrun so we could just leave this as it is so that gets to 25 take the gold coins and the process should stop and then we can go ahead and do the iron cogs it means that sound pretty good to me or maybe we can just switch over once this gets to 25 we'll have a look we'll find out what happens so it is very odd thinking about it because i don't know it's very confusing that it says 45 gold coins on the outputs but when you're actually watching here it's only taking one gold coin which is the requirements here it's only taking one for each plate that's made i'm not really sure what the 45 is all about maybe i'll try and contact the devs and see what that's all about but we're putting enough iron ingots in there to make the 25 so once that's all good we should be good to go and might even give us 26 nope 25 okay so we can take those now and then we can click on the iron cog and we can also put another 25 in there so we need to run and grab some more iron ingots that will do 25 perfect no i need to remember that we need to press q and we want to shift click the iron to deposit it that's another annoying little thing but maybe i'll mention that to the devs as well so going back to the blacksmith and unless anyone else knows what um, the 45 means feel free to leave a comment i'll be interested to know so we're going to go ahead and we're going to split this to make 20 and then we want to put 25 in here no we need 50 altogether don't we that's right okay so that's 37 so we need another 12 should we say another 12 iron ingots and we should be good to go have we got any more iron ore we have we'll pop those in and we'll get them done and then hopefully that should be good to go which means that if all works out we should have enough money as well to go ahead and complete that little quest which is pretty good so we've got one two three four and maybe we we'll have five thousand left by the time this is finished we should have so that should be good we should be able to then go ahead and get automation 
done and get our first little base set up. Let's have a look and see what other sort of research we can come across. So we've got Dwarf Bank in here, a coin storage, holds up to 5,000 coins, Dwarf Bank, deposit of riches and babels. That might be a good idea actually to build a bank and saves having all of our gold. But I do want to the upgrade station level two as well, just so we can go ahead and it's an iron pickaxe and a dwarven axe as well that just takes wood and iron ingots so there might be a little bit more damage than what we've got now and obviously the iron pickaxe will probably be pretty, pretty good the navigator level two is something i also want because that will allow us i think the navigator two pinpoints exactly where the ores are so that will also be good and then obviously we want to get the copper detection as well so yeah we've got a few little tasks that we can add on for this episode so i'm definitely looking forward to this so hopefully now we've been rambling for a bit we should be able to take that iron and pop this into our blacksmith and he should give us the remainder of what we need so um, we need 10 of those i believe to make yeah to make 25 so that should be good and then i suppose we could just start making our iron tools I'm not sure what the iron pickaxe bundle is all about so we have our 20 five iron cogs now so that is good we'll take those we'll take our this back and we'll head over to the research and we'll unlock the automation three so that is now unlocked so now we have access to a drill which attached to deposits of material to stop belt automation we've got steam pipes copper pipe work copper pans oh yeah we've got plenty over here that we can play around with so i'm definitely looking forward to so let's go ahead and see what else we can build now. So machines. So what have we got over here? We've got machines, drilling, belts. And we've got an auto crusher. That allows belts to attach to auto crush powder. Smelts powder into ingots. So a bit, I guess that that's better than just smelting it. We get a better resource output for that. We've got splitters, mergers, normal belts. We've also got water pumps and water splitters and iron water pipes. So connects water to machines. I guess that's how we power the machines. Steam tack backs up steam power in case of a steam cut. Okay, that's pretty cool. Four-way splitter for the steam. Bores water using coal or wood requires water. Interesting. Okay, so steam pipe we have here, and then belted storage, a belt container. So if that requires water, how do we get the water? Is going to be the question. Our water pump. Okay, pumps water and burns coal, and then a water splitter okay so we need to i guess find where we can access some water then okay so we're back at base and i've got all four smelters going smelting a whole load of iron so we have got 100 copper ingots which should be enough i think and we've got some extra coal as well now looking at what the plan is just to do sort of a starter build i'm probably going to do it underground by the ore because i'm not exactly sure how the belts work so we'll test it all down there so working out what we need for both the auto crusher and the smelter for one drill belts just take ingots so that should be fine for the water pump and also the boiler and also the belt container not so much the belt container because that's just wood and ingots but for the rest of the machines i have worked out if i just look at my notes here we need 45 iron plates 45 of the cogs and then we need 40 copper plates and we also need 20 of the copper pipe block as well so we should be able to get all of that done and then we can get our first little bit of automation set up at least then we've got iron in full production put that into storage and we don't really need to come back and smelt any more of this we'll just ne probably need to do some more copper until we find a nice bit of uh, until we find a nice uh, copper sort of stone or copper or rock that we can find and set up a process as well i haven't managed to find one i do remember on my exploration i did come across one but unfortunately um, i got ambushed by a load of orcs so that didn't work out too well but i think in the meantime we should just go ahead and grab some of this iron out of the smelters here so we can start getting some of these cogs and plates in production so hopefully we have enough gold coins if not we have got some gold ore that we can go ahead and sell so i don't really think i need gold ore for anything at the moment let's just double check our quests and see if we do need gold ore or not at the moment because i'm not too sure we do need it as of yet so i probably could smelt the gold and then sell that for a bit of extra cash if i need to we could do with doing 200 copper ore 
to grab that but that's not too bad we are going to be building this lot here um, oh five auto crushers five smelters i'm not really sure i need that many but we can always do that once we get our first little build done and dusted so let's go ahead and see what we need so we need 45 plates which works out at 90 ingots i believe so we're going to go ahead and do select the iron plates and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a full stack in there but then take 10 of these away it's not very reactive when you try and do it quickly but that should be 90 which is good and then we're just going to pop all the coins in there so the blacksmith is going to get to work and do that we should end up with 45 plates we need to do the same with cogs and then we'll probably yeah so we're going to pretty much use all of our copper ingots so we will need to find some copper pretty sharpish because i'm not exactly sure we're gonna have enough so we need 80 for the plates and then we needed 20 copper pipes which means we're gonna need 40 so yeah we're gonna be 20 copper short so i think while that's doing that will probably be a good time to go and explore and try and find a copper ore node and then we can place down a beacon i believe let me see what we need to place the beacon down we need iron ore and then also some wood which we have anyway so we can pick up some iron ore as we go past because we're going to head down right around this direction because we're pretty familiar with it so as we're pretty familiar it's probably best to stay sort of along this route so we haven't unlocked it at the research station yet so we can't use that okay let's go back then and see what we need to unlock that at the research station because we will need to find copper as i said i haven't actually been like searching for it as such i was just wondering if i could come across it so let's go to the research station and navigate our copper so we need 2000 for the copper oh okay um i wonder how much the gold will be worth if we can end up doing the gold so let's go ahead and shove this gold in there so i want that to be gold and we're gonna pop that in there we have got a load of rubies that we probably could sell that uh, easy enough to come across i'm not too worried about them so we probably could sell them and get some more money let's have a look and see what kind of quests we have available that we could possibly complete to be able to get us closer to our goal of 2000 no i think we're quite a way off most of these unfortunately we'll need a lot of cogs for those these are just building a load of foundations so we can't do those wise tools yeah i think we are pretty stumped at the moment i think selling things is going to be our best bet and we have completed all the beginning so yeah i think that's going to be our best bet at the moment it's just to sell a bunch of stuff see what we can get so let's go on to our ruby here we can sell for 680 our emerald is not really worth it to be honest stuff shards aren't really worth it either so i suppose we could get rid of our ruby but yeah we'll sell the really ruby as i said they're easy enough to get so i'm not too worried about those uh, where did we put the gold put the gold over here so that's taken a while i mean four is worth 200 so that's quite good we've got 12 more so that should be that should be about 800 altogether plus that so yeah we're still going to be a little bit short but that's not too much to worry about we'll we'll make it up as we as we sort of uh, come across it so let's have a look what else can we get rid of 100 iron ingots is 2000 which might not be a bad idea to be honest with you because iron's easy enough to get um, we could probably get rid of this 33 that will make that and then plus the 800 should give us our 2000 for the research that we need where was it navigator yeah 2000 that should be easy we should be able to sell this gold and then get that done so we'll just wait for this gold to finish and then we can get that research and find some copper and in the meantime let's see how i doing so we've got the 45 plates so that is good we'll just take that and now we need the iron cog so we needed another 90 so what we're going to do is we're going to take this gold back and we're going to pop those in we're going to oh we are going to oh something's not gone right here okay so we're going to go ahead so if you have the navigator up trying to do this it causes a little bit of confusion so let's uh, put that down as i said this is still the gum up demo there are going to be bugs in that but obviously i'll be reporting those anyway so let's go ahead put 90 over here there we go okay so we can shove them gold coins in there that will keep them safe saves of spending them and then we can move on to our copper after that 
so that should be good uh, hopefully our golds yep our gold is done so we've got 10 which is worth 500 yeah well hopefully we should have enough if we sell that okay apparently i only need one gold bar interesting i must have misclicked somewhere along the line so let's go ahead and we're going to sell this gold that will give us 1500 and then yeah we should be good to go once we get the rest of our coins back off him yeah we should be fine we should be just shy of the 2000 in fact what we could do is we could take that back we'll take we'll take the gold coins back and we'll get the research done and then we can just pop the gold back in there and then while that's doing that we can go ahead and we can find our copper okay so that's the copper bought and now we have yeah 216 should be fine for what we need so let's go ahead and we will open this back up and we will find our ore deposit so let's go ahead do some more exploring find an ore deposit and we'll pop a beacon down but we need to remember to grab some of the iron ore on our way past yeah might as well grab some coal as well just in case as far as i know the deeper you go down the better the resources you will find and see that's what i mean by the rubies that easy to come by so i wasn't too worried about selling those that was a nice easy bit of money and i just nearly fell off the ladders again so all we need to do is kind of keep walking around until he hadn't had that activated no problem okay so we just need to keep walking around until our navigator starts bonging away and telling us where our copper is going to be so it's kind of in this direction i wonder if it's going to be down there oh i wonder i've got a feeling it's going to be down here but we've got two big guys down here so that's not going to be good i'm being chased left right and center by the looks of it but we're not doing well no that's that's the end see these i'm just not strong enough these guys are just too good we need this dwarvish act which requires level two and i've got nowhere near enough nowhere near enough money for this so yeah okay maybe we don't go that way maybe we just go another direction and hopefully we can find it we'll just stay well away from those i probably could take him down with a little bit more patience but i just want to try and find some copper okay so i found a little copper deposit it will do for now it's not the best but basically our ladder is over there somewhere and it's literally just straight forward through here and it's just this deposit right here so it's not the best deposit but it will do for now so i think it would be a good place to place a beacon down just here so we're going to go ahead and put that down there we go okay so that's iron beacon click to rename so we want to put this one down as copper so there we go that is perfect so copper beacon we now have so while we're here what we're going to do is mine a whole load of copper and then we'll take this copper back i'll probably do probably about 400 again we'll get all that smelted and then we've got plenty of copper to play around with okay so i've skipped a little bit basically i've got all the resources we require to go and build our automated mine so i'm going to head back down there and we're going to go and have a look and see how this automation works okay so here we are back at our little iron our little so here we are back at our iron deposit and so basically you just want to kind of work out where i'm going to do this because we haven't got quite a lot of here so what i might do is open this up a little bit although well, we should have enough i think just to do some basic sort of a basic operation but let's go ahead and see what we need so first of all what we're going to need is a water pump as that's going to pump water and burn the coal so we are probably going to need another drill actually thinking about it so that attaches to deposits on materials to start belt automation so we might need some extra plates to be able to do that drill for the coal so we can automa automate the coal process okay so here we are back at our coal deposit so the plan here is i'm going to place one of these drills here and then we're going to put a belt and feed the water pump which burns the coal and pumps the water and then we'll take the water over to the iron that's going to be the plan anyway so what we're going to do is i think the best way to do this is kind of have it pointing out this direction and then we can kind of put the belt round um, but what i'm going to do at the moment is remove that and then what we're going to do is put our drill here so we're going to put the drill like that and that should start drilling i believe from interact okay oh no output coal so we do need steam for this as well so we'll toggle that on and then we need a water and we need to make steam anyway for this and then we can also do another one over there okay so 
In that case then what we need to do is we need a water pump over here um, we'll just place the water pump i think yeah pretty much over here for now that should be good to go so we can do that there and then what we need for the water pump we then need to go into a boiler so we're going to put the boiler over to here i believe um, so there's your water in and there's the out so we could go ahead and put that pretty much like this that should make it nice and easy to go over in that direction i did do some more copper pipe work so we could build a steam tank which might be the best way to go yeah then we might we might be able to do a splitter to go straight over to the other side because i did do some more copper pipe work but before we do that let's get the other stuff built just so i know for sure i have everything here I think I have got enough actually because I don't think anything else actually takes the copper pipe work. We have a water splitter here, it's into four. So yeah, I think we can do a steam tank and then we can also do a splitter. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Oh, okay, so let's go ahead and do, we'll finish the water pipes off first. So let's go ahead and see if we can link these like that. Okay, I like how the pipes work. You can just kind of mold them to however you need them to be let's go ahead and put some coal into here to start this process so that's pretty good we can toggle that on and that makes steam there doesn't seem to be a way that you can actually input coal into this which is a little bit odd i was hoping you could kind of feed it with a belt but that's not to worry about okay so we've got a pipe over this side for the steam so what we could do then is we could then go ahead and put a steam splitter over here or do we yeah we could do a steam splitter and then two tanks i think might be the best way to do it so if we do a splitter around about here and then we could do a steam tank over in this direction over here we can link that to there okay so let's go ahead and now get our steam pipes we're going to link that to that we're going to have one coming out of here so we're going to go ahead and pop that in there that's going to kind of overlap over here somewhere oh, okay so just go straight through interesting okay so that's the steam splitter so that's the steam tank which goes from there to there and then what we need to figure out is how we get the steam out of this tank and back into there let's just see how this works so backs up steam power in case of a steam cup okay so how exactly does that work go to here or do we interesting okay so do we have to turn these valves on or are they already on is the question boiler okay so that's because i put a boiler here not a splitter well i put a boiler there instead of a tank well that's a little bit stupid of me so we're gonna go for steam tank yeah no that was right that was supposed to be the boiler boils water using coal or wood okay so that was right so we need to go ahead and put this this way around like that okay so we've now got the boiler so we can now give that input the inputs outputs okay so we give that coal that should give an input of water i believe so water pump craft duration active plus 100 okay so that's on this one is should be on but we've got inputs of coal outputs of water i thought this was supposed to turn the water into steam hmm okay so let's go ahead and remove we'll remove the steam tank for now and remove this pipe and let's go ahead and directly attach this to here see what happens now so we've got outputs nothing we've got no steam coming in we've got a splitter here how do we go about can we turn these valves maybe that's got something to do with it no we don't seem to be receiving any water which is the inputs and the outputs seem to be the wrong way around input should be water and then steam it's very odd we've definitely got plus water plus 100 water the water pipeline one has one object pressure generation generate by machines pressure usage used by machines stored in tanks drain from tanks nothing okay so let's have a look and see what else there is so we've got water a water splitter water pump 
pumps water burns coal yeah steam power so boiler using boils water using coal or wood requires water okay so what about if we remove that let's just start again and see if we can figure this out maybe we got it the wrong way around possibly so we've got a boiler here i would say that would be water but who knows so let's pop it down so now if we go to water and we go water pipe we select this here which goes to that it doesn't allow us to go to that side it only allows us to go to that side so that has to be a water feed oh so we got we have got water now maybe the pipe wasn't long enough or something really strange like that okay so i'm not happy with that being in that position so we're going to start again and see if we can get this to actually work this time so we're going to have a boiler here we're going to we're going to place the boiler just over here i think and then we'll keep the splitter there the splitter there is absolutely fine and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove this pipe we're going to see if we can get the steam tank to actually work so we're going to place a water pipe from here to there and hopefully we interact with that we've got 10 out of 10 water now so that's working as it should so now we need to go into steam power we need to grab we need to go into this splitter so this in theory should start working once we put coal into it so we've got coal we've got steam okay so i'm not sure how this is going to work because the whole point of me sorting this out for the coal was to automate this but i don't see how we put the input of coal unless i'm missing something over here so belt container input and output with belts okay so belt container can we attach that or can we not attach that no that just looks like it's just four belts okay so can we merge two belts into one splits normal belt we can't put the belts into this any way shape or form okay so let's just go ahead and we're going to do the steam tank over this direction here and what we're going to do is we're going to get our steam pipe we're going to put the steam pipe over so i'm not exactly sure okay so we've got yeah so that's just a, basically a pressure tank so we could pop that over over here so let's try and work this out so we can get rid of that we can then put the steam tank over in this direction just so we can make sure we've got enough of the steam so we're going to put a pipe from here to there this one will just link into this straight away and that will yeah cause that to output okay so that's doing that so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and put a drill over there as well we should also thinking about it we should put a storage container over here so we've got an input and an output over here okay so we're just going to put the storage tank just then we're going to get our first couple of belts in so we're going to go from here and we'll go into there into our storage so we can interact with that and we can take the coal out of there nice and easy okay so that's the coal set up a little bit fiddly at first for some reason the boiler wouldn't work as it was supposed to but it seems to be all working now so that's pretty good so we're going to go ahead and we're going to destroy this one and we're going to place our drill somewhere i'm not exactly entirely sure where we're going to place it yet because obviously we've got a few buildings to sort of overcome and make but what i might do is put it over in this direction so we're going to put our drill just over here i think that's probably the best place to do it we can manipulate the belts as and when we need to so what we could do is put a storage belt over here where's the best place to put it possibly yeah i think the best place to put storage is going to be here and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a belt and we're just going to stick the belt from here to here and then we can have the other buildings over here so we need a auto crusher and then we need a smelter as well which will take coal i'm guessing to smelt or maybe steam who knows so yeah we should have enough so we're going to that's going to take steam so we are going to need another splitter so that can go the um so we're going to put this and there that should be fine and then the smelter we're going to put over over here somewhere where it's not going to be in the way of everything else which looks like it's it's 
probably going to be. So we're just going to put the smelter here for now. Although we are missing some copper plates. Somehow I didn't measure things quite properly. I'm not sure how I managed that. Do we need the splitter is the question. Or do we need the tank over here? What resources was the tank? So copper pipe work, okay. Splitter was pipe work. Did I miscalculate completely then? Okay, so I'm back with some copper plates. And what I'm going to do is slightly change things up a little bit. So I don't need this storage there, which means we can move all this down and make it look a bit neater. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our auto crusher but in this direction. And then what we're going to do is have our smelter kind of over here. I just want to make sure I've got the inputs and the outputs in the right direction. We have there or thereabouts. And then what we can do is we can then put our storage right here. So it's nice and easy to access. So we've got that there. So now all we need is to line all these up with conveyor belts. So we can bring all of these up to here we can go ahead and pop that there. that also takes coal as well doesn't it so inputs outputs i know it takes steam okay so not coal it takes steam so everything's pretty much steam powered so that's pretty good okay so now all we need to do is we need to have a splitter which we should have enough for everything we're going to put that and then what we're going to do is connect all of this so we need one over that direction we need one over here and then lastly i think we need one over not that i can actually see what i'm doing over there okay so that's all of that sorted i think i've got myself stuck now i can't get out anywhere okay so in theory then all we need now is we need a steam pipe to go all the way back to here to our splitter and in theory that lot should be working what are we missing here so we've got 60 coal coal from here so yeah see that's going to be the problem is trying to keep up with the coal that's in our boiler i wonder how we kind of fix that problem because i would like it to be fully automated and not have to worry about all of that i'm sure we'll figure it out later on pretty much um, but let's see what we have here so we've got the smelter doing what it's doing i think i probably need to set up this over here so we'll hop over here crusher um also but okay select production that's what we wanted so we want iron powder which takes yeah the inputs quite quick and the outputs quite good as well we've got steam power and that should go into our smelter select function iron smelting and there we go so steam active two out of two and we should be now producing steam as well not steam we should be using iron sorry okay so yeah we've got iron and everything like that sorted okay so let's head back and we'll go from there we'll see what research and see if there's some sort of a automated boiler or something a bit better than the boiler we have at the moment okay so here we are back at base so we've had a, a little look at the automation and to be honest i quite like it i like how you can just kind of place anything anywhere kind of very similar to sort of satisfactory and that sort of thing where you can place them pretty much anywhere but the thing that does concern me is the boiler so let's have a look and see if there is a better sort of a boiler option coming so let's have a look and see what's here so automation for a belt boiler is fed with coal through bells for automated steam regeneration and that's going to take seventy-five thousand coins and a hundred copper ingots that's going to take a while but it does unlock gold smelting so i think that is going to be the next goal but i think we'll leave that one for the next episode so i've definitely had fun with this episode playing around the automation i'll probably tidy it up and neaten it up a bit make it look a little bit better maybe explore with how it will look bringing it up here but hopefully you are enjoying all bound as much as me if you are make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe as well for more content it's been Kryptonite here thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video